I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. How do you get a cello in an overhead compartment on an airplane? How does it fit? Well, that was exactly his question, and it doesn't. So uh, you have an extra seat for it. And so um, uh, Bill was first asking me how I could fit it in the overhead. I told him I had extra seat, and then the big coincidence was we came to the plane. Bill was sitting on the aisle. I was sitting on the other side of the aisle, and the cello on the window. He didn't like that. So maybe you can speak about that. Well, not only does the cello get its own seat, it gets its own seat in first class, and it gets the window. So it gets, like, first dibs on everything. And I'm thinking, holy cow, I guess that's so in case somebody drunkenly stumbles into your cello, eh, it's why you put it in the window. But uh, that was a natural question. I thought, this guy's, how do they let him carry this thing on board? You know, how are they going to let him do that? Because it's not going to fit underneath the seat. I know that. Tell me about the genesis of the project, how it, uh, it kind of became to be a film. Well, no, I mean, they, so these... These fine people here had been touring the world. I think they played 55 cities, Sydney Opera House, Carnegie Hall. And their last stop on their European tour was at the Acropolis in Greece. And so uh, Karen Duffy, a mutual friend of Bill and mine, suggested that they record the show uh, for posterity. And uh, I was nominated as the guy to do it. And I'm, I'm very glad that I had that opportunity because I had seen the show a couple times just as a fan, as a spectator and a friend, and was just blown away by it. So I think the fact that we were able to capture the, uh, you know, the experience of what it was like to be in the, the Acropolis that night, uh, I'm very proud of. How many nights did you film? Was it just one night? It was just one night. We approached it basically documentary style. We had local, hired uh, five local camera operators. I brought my director of photography, Mike Gomes, with me. And we set it up the, the day of the show. The performers came in, and, and we just shot what we could get. And thankfully, we got an incredible uh, once-in-a-lifetime show. What was the collaboration in the post-production process with the musicians, like in, in kind of building the story? Was there involvement, or did you kind of just take no, I, th this whole film was a very much a collaborative team effort, just as the stage show was. Uh, my editor, John Connor, and I put together an assembly cut, and at that point, Bill came in and, and started working with us, you know, uh, looking at shots, uh, looking at other camera angles, really kind of going through the finer points of, of the edit. And in the sound mix, uh, Jan, Mira, and Vanessa all listened to it, all gave their notes, all gave their feedback. So. It's not like they brought in some stringers to shoot the show and we went off and made something else. I mean, this really is uh, an extension of this incredible uh, show that Bill, Jan, Mir, and Vanessa had been touring the world with. What was um, your experience on stage performing it? And then what was your experience kind of seeing this footage for the first time? Well, the experience on stage was unlike any other, as they say about the masters. And uh, it was... I'd never been with uh, such forceful entertainers. Each one of them is its own dynamo. And the, the power, I, I never, I mean, four people, this is like, you know, the Stones or the Beatles. This is like very powerful um, impressions that you get and an energy that I've never shared before. You know, so to be able to uh, share it and have it pass, you know, through us all back and forth was was a big deal, a, re a really big deal for me, and very unusual. The film part of it was I got to see the show, which you never got to do it. You never got to see the show. You were in the show. So to watch the show, you got to watch it as an audience member, and it was thrilling, really thrilling to see how each one is just a superstar of, in their own in their own uh, machine, and uh, to you know just to feel lucky enough to go like, holy cow, no wonder people liked it. You know, it's. It's it's really good. It's a really it's a sh it's a real show. No one sees this one coming, and it just it knocks you out. We did it every single night. We killed them every single night. What's it like to be back here in Canada with this movie in a time where a pandemic is maybe coming back? Andrew handles all the pandemic questions. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> No, I, I think uh, this film is a celebration of live theater. I think it's uh, the festival, I think, is a celebration of cinema, of watching things on the big screen with an audience. So this really is the, the ideal setting to premiere this film. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a great reminder to people of, of what we lost uh, over the past year, but, but what, we, what we hopefully will get back. And there's just some very beautiful and touching moments uh, that 
were beautiful when they were performed in 2018, but I think have added resonance uh, coming out of this post-pandemic world. Some of the songs they sing and uh, or, or perform, and um, you know the poems that Bill recites. So, so I, I think people will really uh, be moved by what they see. Tell me about working with Bill. What, what, did, what was that experience, and what did you love? Oh no, I ask a different. No, question. that's the question. <laughs> I thought you were asking a good question. <laughs> they don't want to hear that. That's a great question. The question is, it's a magical experience. I remember meeting him at his house and we first sat down to rehearse and I could not believe what's coming out of this man. He was reading a story, which is not in the movie, and I cried right there. And the, the magic of power, of talent, it wasn't because Bill Murray is so famous or whatever, it's just pure energy. Every night when we're together, performing on the stage, and it's the most moving time and it's an unbelievable experience and it's, I cannot use enough words to describe that magical power he gives and along with all my partners together. I'm with Mira. What an amazing musician he is. Um, uh, I've said this a few times but I listen to music and phrase things differently because of how he sings it, how he narrates constant learning also about what it is to be in a team. My goodness, what a collaborator. I mean, he's, he's who he is, this monster in a good way. But it's just uh, uh, what a humble man he is. And, and when it comes to art, he's, he asks your opinion. He wants to know what you think. He, um, no matter who you are, it's just it's amazing. Uh, really humbling to work with uh, Bill. Can't say enough. Really, I can't. I'll I'll cry.